Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you? What happened, mm -hmm. teacher? Good morning. <laughs> you know, it's it's a habit. <laughs> good morning. Okay, good morning. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Bye, bye. Bye, thank you. Teacher, did you, did you see the news? Today is the family died about the this <clears throat> natural disaster in Huizucar. Yes, it was very sad. The complete family. She, yes, complete. Five member. But you know, I always, I, I don't understand because Remember, remember the the Malaga, the bus. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I I mean, that was not five minutes. You know, that took maybe one hour or two for the bus oh, yeah. to move. Yeah. So the people had time. Yeah. So. And the bus driver is the is the mistake for uh, for take the this this street. No, but in fact, when the bus was passing, mm -hmm. it was it wasn't so so difficult yeah. because I remember I I live very close. I remember that day, and everybody was screaming from the apartment. Saga, get out, get out, get out! Uh -huh. And they were throwing them. But remember that. I think it was a church. Yeah, I said. So I imagine, church. I imagine there was one idiot inside that says, "No, brothers, let's pray in Jesus." All right, exactly. something. Exactly. You know, and that's not religion. I mean, that's logic. <laughs> logic exactly. sense. So I, I don't know. I, I was reading the news that um, in that zone in Wisukar, the authorities, autoridad. They mm -hmm. spoke with people. Look, tenían albergue. There was okay. like, um, but you know, but I understand. I mean, sometimes people they don't want to leave their house and say, "No, don't worry, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay." But that's so sad. The children yeah. were four and two. Yes. Uh, terrible. Yeah. That's sad. The complete family died. The problem is to share because the the people uh, know the place is dangerous, but he probably is for economic situation. I I don't found another place. No, but I was I was watching the news today and the um. The authorities, the local authorities, they uh, they gave um, they gave harv what's shelter, as it say, a albergue shelter. They were giving shelter to the people around. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Do you remember where? The people that lived where the Chivo Hospital is. What? Do you, do you know where the Chivo Hospital is? Yes. No. The the animal hospital. Yes. Yeah. Oh, animal yeah, Chivo. Yeah. Chivo pets. Chivo pets. Yes. And that that zone is very very dangerous. And I remember like, I don't know, two or three years ago, it was raining very hard and. The um the police everybody came to that zone and says, "Look, you need to evacuate. Go, yeah. let's uh like like a dia de the um antiguo. antiguo. They were giving. Let's go, and they said, "No, no, no. I will die with my house." It's like, <laughs> you know. but you know, I I don't know. What you know, I okay, I can understand one person th speak for you, but when you have children, 
when you have children, you can't decide for your children. Imagine this family today. Four years and two. That's so sad. It's terrible. Very terrible. Ter and did you see the video of the family inside the car? No. No. That was yesterday. That was crazy. A car was like in the river with five people inside. Yes, yes, cool. Five, five people too. But fortunately, they, the other people, uh, to do the force uh, for for them. Yes. Yes, it's true. All right, let me see. Okay, so I see the majority. Well, we have more people here. We have JJ, Marielos, Katia, Serham, Milton. I was watching also the news that... um. This is unbelievable that um, ARENA and FMLN are going to make an alliance. Yes. That's crazy. It's impossible. They are enemy, but only mm -hmm. for the, the screen, Pantaya. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just a cover. It's a cover. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, now they they uh, without mask. But you know what? Okay, I I I imagine what people the people that support FMLN or the people that support Arena. What do they think? Yeah. It's like I have a friend. My friend, he's like this full full Arena. And he has the Dave David Dawison and, and this and he I think he has a trophy of Arena. And I say, hey, do you, now you need to have a Che Guevara? So never, never. Hey, I mean you are alliance now. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get under his skin. <laughs> Remember that expression? <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah. I tell people, hey, I voted for FMLN in my life. I voted for Arena in my life. And I'm not, uh, you know, I'm happy that I don't vote for them anymore. But some people, you know, they still prefer to vote. Yeah. You know, I voted for this team. It didn't work. I voted for this team. It didn't work. I'll vote for this team. I have nothing to lose. Yeah. Let me see. No school tomorrow. No. Uh, but virtual, yes. Oh, it's gonna be virtual. Yeah. For I mean, for students, like in in universities and and uh, private school. Yes. You know, um, remember, remember, I don't. I told you that my wife is um. It's a dentist, and she's telling me that now they are seeing the effect of studying virtually because where she works, they have assistance, dental assistance, mm -hmm. which is like three years, I think. Three years. And this assistance, two years, they did it virtually. And my wife tells me that she and other doctors they they don't know anything, you know, because I think when it's medicine, any medicine, it has to be physical. Yeah. Imagine, okay, limpieza dental. How, how can you do that virtually? <laughs> <laughs> With an application like. <laughs> yeah. So. 
I I I am not a, a fan of I am not a fan of virtually. But on Imola sometimes. Okay, mm -hmm. let me see where we finished. So we were doing unless, only if, and even if. Yes. Yes. I will go. I would go to the Bad Bunny concert only if my boss tells me let's go and we talk about your promotion in the concert. <laughs> yes, only <laughs> if he says that I will go. For me, teacher, only if, only if uh, some someone's uh, pay me much money. Okay. Yeah. No, I wouldn't go I wouldn't, even if somebody paid me. I but, wouldn't go even if somebody paid me. Yeah. You wouldn't go even if, yeah. <laughs> and then, even if, okay. Even if somebody pays you? I wouldn't go. Yeah, okay, good. All right, good. So then we understand that. Fine. Let me see. Let me... So this are the video the video we saw yesterday, correct? Remember? Yeah. Example. I wouldn't take the money unless I really needed it. Meaning if I really needed the money, I would take it. Let's take a look. If I really needed the money, I would take it. Listen, unless it's like a, your last resort. Yes. For example, I would never ask anybody for money unless it's like a really big emergency, like my son is sick and I need the money in that moment is the only way but I will never ask anybody for money. Do you understand that? I will never, yeah. unless yeah. it's like the mm -hmm. only possible. An emergency. Yes, so that's what it says here, meaning if I <laughs> really needed the money, I would take it. In the last source. Okay. Um, yes, it's the last resource. Yes. Okay. Do you understand what to use unless? Yes, teacher. Yes. It. Let's take a look to another example. I would take the money only if I really needed it. Meaning, I would take the money only under these particular circumstances. That's like the Bad Bunny concert example we're doing. I would go to the Bad Bunny concert Milton said, only if somebody pays me a lot of money. But Mariano said, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't go to the Bad Bunny concert, yeah. even if somebody pays me. <laughs> okay. So only if is the contrary or if, even if. Yes. For example, not knowing who had dropped it. And the last example. I wouldn't take the money even if I really needed it. Meaning, I wouldn't take the money for any reason. Read the following sentence. Okay, that's, that's what we did yesterday. So here we have three examples. <clears throat> Number one, it says, Sam, okay, instructions. Read the four sentences aloud. Do you know what is aloud? Allow. Do you know what that means? I don't remember, teacher. Allow it would be like saying in voz alta. Instructions. Read the four sentences aloud. Imagine Sam gets an invitation. Which sentences mean that Sam will go? 
So number one, Sam would go if he was invited. Sam wouldn't go unless he was invited. Sam would go only if he was invited. Sam wouldn't go even if he was invited. ABC. ABC. Do you think it's ABC? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. It's ABC. Good. Um, grammaticalmente está mal aquí. He was. Every time you use the conditional if, is the auxiliary is were. Okay. If I were, if you were, if she were. Okay. So actually the correct here would be, Sam would go if he were invited. ¿Saben qué significa aquí? Es el famoso fuese. Si es fuese. Can you explain what fuese is? Imagine you're, imagine you're a Spanish teacher. Y le dice, ¿qué significa si yo fuera, si yo ser, qué si yo fuese? How can you explain that? Simple. I would say, if I were. Si yo fuese, si ella fuese, si él fuese, in English too, if I were, if you were, if she were, and in plural, if we were, if they were. Okay? Okay. Okay, number two, write, I'm sorry, which sentences means that Sam won't go? That Sam won't go. Sam would go if he was invited. Uh -huh, it's war. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> Sam wouldn't go unless he was invited. Sam would go only if he was invited. Sam wouldn't go even if he was invited. So which sentences mean that Sam won't go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, I told you about my, my neighbor, the crazy cat lady? Yes. Do you know that she killed, like, I don't know, maybe four cats today? <clears throat> you just say neighbor that listen music, rarely, rarely music. Yes. No, no, but my, my neighbor, the crazy cat lady, she killed uh -huh. four cats today. Accidentally, wow. accidentally but she killed them. Yeah. Because the, the cats were in the tire of the car. Wow. But, but I don't know what happened with the cats, but she turned on the car and she, and then you just heard, wow. <laughs> the cat held, uh, held seven live pictures. Yeah, but I. And the one. That, 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 that accident was like seven for one man. So. <laughs> <laughs> she was, oh my God, I killed the cat. Oh my God, oh my God. And I say, don't worry, there's 28 more outside. Teacher, you say, don't worry, only lost one, one little. Yeah, only one life, yes. <laughs> one life. <laughs> Okay, let's do to this. Let's listen. Let's listen to this listening exercise. Okay. Do you know what is the difference between hear and listen? Yes. What is the difference, Sarah? Listen is when you're when you're uh, 
um, when you're listening, uh, for example, music or podcast okay. or some program. And hear you is when you talk with uh, some peers, some people, and you need that person hear hear your explanation or your ideas. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's it. <laughs> But it's still, it's still, maybe it's still a little the same. Does anybody yeah, have a different explanation? But listen is more, is more, uh, more big because you you need pay attention. I'm sorry. What I get, I guess, teacher. I yes, I'm sir. not sure. I'm not sure, but I'm guess that. Um, that when you are when you are you know, listening is when you uh, show interest, are really interest in what the other person is is telling you. And here you can hear, but maybe you are not really concentrated in or focused in what someone is telling you i'm not sure, I'm not sure so maybe. so when you go to church do you listen or do you hear the priest i should listen <laughs> it depends about your interest <laughs> or, or or depends that the priest because some are boring some are like hush, 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 hush. You know that you can't understand, and everybody is doing this. Okay, look. Like her dream, right? Uh huh. It's like yeah. Okay, the difference between hear and listen. Yeah, Sergio was very close. Hear is an ability. Yeah, hear is ability. You hear or you can't. Okay. If you can't hear, you are deaf. Ustedes sordo, si yeah. no puede hear. Okay. So here is like, yes, I have the ability. I can hear. Like I hear motorcycles pass by. I hear airplanes in very distance, but I hear. Listen is to what I want to listen to. Yes. For example, sometimes my wife tells me, man, did you hear the neighbors yesterday? I said, no, I was very sleepy. So I didn't hear. So here is ability. Si alguien es sordo, he can't hear. Y obviamente he can't listen. Yes. Hear is ability. Listen is pay attention. It's like sometimes when they when there's like a party near your house, you hear the boom, 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 boom. You hear the music. But you really can't listen who it is. It could be Bad Bunny. It could be Mark Anthony. Or it could be Sepultura. But all you hear is the boom, 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 boom. So listen is more attention. It's paying attention more. Troop of doom. Hmm? Troop of doom. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like, for example, the, the, the presidents in la, in la ONU right now, I don't know who's who, who listens to them, but but you know, but I say listen because you put the TV on and you want, hey, I want to listen to what the president of Chile has to say. I want to listen to the news. 
I want to listen to the radio station. Okay. That is the difference between mm -hmm. hear and listen. Do you understand, Milton? Yes, teacher. Good. Okay, and now, ah, ya que estamos en sentido. So what is the difference between see, look, and watch? See is about the, the ear, is a ability. Yes, see is similar to the ear, to ear. See is it's ability. See is the, it's the sense, it's the ability, yes. Stevie Wonder yes. can't see. Yes. Jose yes. Feliciano can't see. Okay, so yes, I can, no, I can't. Okay? Okay. Now I see that Milton, Sergio, myself, Katia, I think Mariello's too, we wear glasses. Yes? I have a problem. I can't see very good close distance, but I can see very good in a long distance. So my ability is good and bad. Yeah. So these glasses, if you put them on, everybody says, whoa, whoa. I said, no, because um, these glasses, maybe these are only for reading because it's only for clothes. But if I try to, to see in a long distance, I can't. I need to take my glasses off. Okay? Me too. Okay. Oh, you too? Okay, good. So that's the difference between C. That, that is C, it's an ability. What is look and watch? Look for someone or for something. Mm -hmm. And watch is to mm -hmm. observe. Look is the action. Okay, we're getting close. Look, it's an action. And watch is a verb. Actually, look, you look at things that don't move. When you go to a museum, imagine you go to the Museum of Van Gogh in Amsterdam, and you go and all the paintings of Van Gogh are there. You look at the pictures, okay. okay? Because the pictures have no action, they're not moving. Okay. When you go to El Mirador, in Los Planes, you look at the city. When you go into somebody's Facebook, you look at the pictures. So you look at things that don't move. So what do you think watch is? To and you see everything. <laughs> you watch things that move. Okay. That's teacher, in this case, teacher, in this case, we, we are... Watch, watching your class. Yes, yes, because there's an action. We are interacting, so you're watching it. You watch TV. You watch TV. You watch TV. You watch the cars on the street. Mm -hmm. The people watch walking. Movie. Yes. Okay. Y no sabemos tan extremos como hay alguien siempre alguien que me hace una pregunta, teacher, y una tortuga. It's like, it's like, come on. <laughs> I mean, yes, the turtle maybe is moving, but you look at a turtle because really the turtle's not making, it's not doing an action. Yes. When there's an action, if you see a verb, it's watch. Okay. That is why the song, every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. 
And there is uh -huh, another song that called, I don't know if the name, but it says, I only, I only feel that somebody's watching me, something like that. I always that. feel like somebody's uh -huh. watching me. Yes, yes. that's. Picture. So that means uh, that you watch uh, all that have a movement or not. Technically, technically, yes. So for example, my TV is very big. My TV is very big. It's like 65 inches. Okay. When people come to my house, when people come to my house, they say, and, and the TV is off. And people say, man, your TV is big. So they look at it. They start looking at it. Wow. Quantas trae de HDMI? Oh, like three, I think. They start looking at it. But when I turn on the TV, now there's an action. Now they start watching it. Oh, OK. Yes. Excellent. So for example, Milton, girls playing volleyball at the beach. Are you looking or are you watching? Are you looking? Are you looking no, at? No. Are you look? Are you? Are you watching? Are you watching those girls or are you looking at those girls? Are you watching? <laughs> yes, you're watching. But you shouldn't be watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, you should be like, oh no, respect. <laughs> okay, so let's let's do this. So I start easy. Hear and listen. Hear is an ability. Listen, it's the action. Pay attention. See, look, watch. See, empecemos con C. C is the ability. I can see or I can't see. That is C. Next we have look. You look at things that don't move and you watch things that move. Oh, look is no action, watch is an action. Okay, now let's do the listening exercise. Finders keepers. Listen to Aaron and Leanne talking about finding something. Do you know that, can you hear? Yeah. Yes. Do you know yes. what is the, Do you know what is that expression? Finders keepers. No. JJ, can you please lower your volume from the TV, please? <clears throat> because you can hear it. <clears throat> Thank Excuse you. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Who is watching TV? Or I hear there's wow in this moment no. But there's someone watching TV that is in. Okay, no, forget it. I'm sorry. Do you know what is the expression finders keepers? No, no. me no teacher. No. It's finders keepers. Yes. Finders, Imag finders of find. Yes. So okay. imagine you're in a restaurant and you find $20 in the bathroom. Yes. Yes. And you come back and you say, hey, I found twenty dollars in the bathroom. But I can get said, "Hey, no, but you should return the money to who? Mm -hmm. Finders keepers." Okay. Quien se lo encuentra se lo queda. Creo que hay una expresión similar en español. Yes. Camarón dormido, no sé qué, se lo lleva la comida. Something like that. <laughs> es no, algo, it's ¿no? It's no, una prenda me ha hallado cinco veces, la diré, si no aparece dueño, yo la tomaré. Ok, that's one. Well, that's very long. <laughs> Se lo prometo, nunca he oído esa, pero that's, that was cool. Una prenda me <laughs> so, finders keepers is similar, teacher. Yes, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an aromatic expression. Ok. Ok. Yeah. Yeah, like that example, hey, I found $20 in the bathroom and people know you should return. No, man, finders keepers. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, in Spanish, it's, it's something like, uh, ¿Quién se lo encuentra, se lo queda? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Finders keepers. Listen to Aaron and Leanne talking about finding something. Are these statements true or false, or does the person not say? Check the correct answer. 1. Aaron I was with my son at the supermarket. He was about eight years old at the time, and he found a wallet on the floor. Inside it was a hundred dollar bill. A hundred dollars! He picked it up and got all excited. In fact, neither of us could really believe it. He started talking about all the things he would buy. Right away I told him that we couldn't keep it. He seemed disappointed at first. We started asking people if they had lost anything. After asking around for a while, we hadn't found anyone, and I was beginning to think we'd asked everyone. But then, as we were walking to the front of the store, I noticed a man, actually my son noticed him, pacing back and forth, shaking his head and muttering something. I thought it was probably his wallet, so we asked him, and it was. My son felt better when he saw how relieved the man was about getting his money back. That was our good deed for the day, and the man gave my son $10 as a reward for returning the wallet. 2. Leanne I was on a train from Washington to New York last month when I found a book lying under my seat. It was so strange. It was just a little book, not an expensive one. It was probably only worth a few dollars. Well. I really wanted to read it. It was pretty interesting, and by the end of the trip, I was still reading it, so I decided to keep it. I took it home and finished it. Now, every time I see it on my bookshelf, I wonder if I should have taken it or not. I mean, do you think I should have returned it to the train conductor? Who knows? Like I said, it wasn't a very expensive book, so I didn't really feel guilty about taking it. Aaron's son wanted to keep the wallet and spend the money, true or false? True. Yes. Aaron's son received thank uh, thank you card as a reward? False. false. No. False. <clears throat> the owner of the book probably didn't care much about it. Doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say. Leanne will probably return the book. False. False. Or oh, it doesn't say either. All right, cool. Finder keepers. <clears throat> Do you want to hear the complete sentence? Finders keepers. Losers, weepers. Okay. Weep as chiar. <laughs> Finder <laughs> keeper, losers, weepers. Weepers. Okay, next it says, in this section, participants will be able to practice and use vocabulary to talk about ethics. This is something ethical and something unethical, correct? Miguel Angel, can you tell me what is something unethical to do? Sorry, teacher, I have a difficult problem with my phone is or connection. Okay, but can you hear? Yes, I listen. Okay. Are you okay? All right, cool. No, no worries. Okay. Irena, can you tell me what is something unethical? Unethical. Uh, I don't understand exactly the term teacher, unethical. It's like ineficiente. No, ethical and unethical. Ethics. Okay. It's like it's like saying that wasn't professional. That was not ethical. 
Ah, uh, ethical, mm -hmm. like ethical and no ethical. Exactly. Okay. And it's I'm not. It's that. not legal or illegal. It's just okay. ethical. Mm -hmm. uh, unethical, it says, right? Yeah, unethical. Uh, something uneth unethical. Uh, could be, uh, for example, um, you are in charge of of some um, cash at the office. And you take from that cash for your personal, uh, maybe to buy something personal, for example. But that's not unethical. I think that's illegal. Right? Mm, let me see what else could be. No, 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 no. But no, I see your example. It was very good. Okay. But like, for example, sometimes asking, um, like imagine a job interview, mm -hmm. a job interview when they interview a woman and they say, do you have children? Mm -hmm. And the woman says, yes. Do you plan to have more children? <laughs> so in, in my mind, you know, that, that's like unethical. It's, it's, in a, it's a question out of, out of place. Out of place, exactly. Bueno, de hecho, verdad que también preguntar si tienen hijos es unethical. Yes, because it's not important for, for the job. Yes. 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 Personal it's life. Mm -hmm. For me, to me, it's unethical to ask, are you married? Or why are you not married? Exactly. Yes. It's unethical. Okay, good. And ethical is, of course, the contrary. So let's see. Or, or like, for example, man, I have an aunt, my aunt. She really gets on my nerves. <laughs> because every time she visits me, she's a, she asks me, hey, where did you buy that? In tal lugar. How much did it cost you? Mm. How much did that cost you? How much did you pay? It's like, that's, that's unethical. Why? You know, why mm. ask? Yes, and there is another people that ask. And when do you have when do you will have when you will have children or why or when you will have another child? Yeah. <laughs> When will you have another child? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's listen to the video. Hi. Are you ready to learn new words? Notice how they change their meaning with some prefixes. Listen to the following words. Then listen again and notice how they change in meaning when using a prefix. You may make a chart in your notebook and copy the new word. Acceptable. Agreeable. Approving, ethical, fair, honest, legal, logical, rational, responsible, scrupulous, trustworthy. Unacceptable, disagreeable, disapproving, unethical, unfair, dishonest, illegal, illogical, irrational, irresponsible, unscrupulous, untrustworthy. untrustworthy. Use the vocabulary words to answer these questions. Number one. Number two. Would you ever play a practical joke on your friends? Honest, legal, logical. Okay. Um, I, we understand these adjectives, right? Acceptable, agreeable. Uh, 
Approving, do you, do you know what is approving? What is approved? Yeah, it, com it comes from approved. Let's go. It comes from approved. We have ethical, fair, what is fair? Just like and just. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's fair. Some people say, hey, that's not fair. Or not when you fair. say fair play. Fair play, yes. Mm -hmm. But excuse me, Sergio, Sergio Herrera, you are a Real Madrid fan, correct? And not really. Oh, okay, good. Because I don't think Real Madrid fans understand fair play. <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Especially El Pepe. Marcelo, eh, Marcelo, the, eh, the, ex, the ex, the ex Real Madrid, Sergio Ramos, no, Casimiro, man. Casemiro, eh, El Ogro. Yes. Do you remember the Ogro? Yeah, the Ogre. Yes. <laughs> no, um, Modric, Balón de Oro. I, I will never understand that. Yes. He's good. Yes, but that's it. But Maybe that year it was Luis Suarez or Cristiano Ronaldo deserved it. Maybe. Not Messi. Okay, forget Messi. Maybe, but not Modric. <laughs> okay, we have legal, logical, rational. Rational. I was I was reading in my in my job, in mi trabajo. Remember I told you I am an interpreter? Yes. I did not know yeah. that. Do you know Jehovah Witness? The mm -hmm. de Jehová? Mm -hmm. They are considered, they are by in many, in, in well, in some states, estados, they are considered a sect. Una secta. Yeah. 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 It's a sect. No, but you know, it's a well, yeah, it's a religion. But the, the, the mm -hmm. reason why is because. They are not rational mm -hmm. in an emergency in the hospital. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, but, of course. Uh -huh. No, but the reason why I'm telling you this is because for legal issues, I, I have had that, that problem, you know, like there's an emergency and hello, interpreter, I am with the mother and the mother, you know, I'm sorry, mother, we need emergency blood mm -hmm. on your son and, and the mother's no, 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 yes. no. So immediately, yeah. immediately the, the doctor says, what religion are you? And she says, Jehovah Witness. Oh, okay. Um, wow. Then, then ahí cuelgo porque llaman al abogado del hospital. Oh, okay. And one time I asked my boss and they told me, because it's not, it's, they, it's a sect, considered a secta because it's not rational. It's not considered rational. Yeah. Yes. Illogical. illogical yeah no but the the technical word word here would be rational rational mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because there are some crazy uh, religions too but they are rational yes but um that one that that specific religion is considered a stack in some states then we, then we have responsible we have a scrupulous trustworthy Yes, trustworthy. What is trustworthy? What they, does they, mean? They were what they mean? were rejected from Russia. I I remember that that new. The Jehovah Witness. Yeah, they were rejected uh, a few years ago from Russia. Oh really? Oh yeah, for the same reason. Oh okay. Because they're irrational? No. Oh. Okay. Trustworthy. Let me let me explain something to you. Worthy. Worthy. Worthy is 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 it's a lot like a, a, a biblical term. 
You know, sometimes people say, I'm sorry, God, I am not worthy. Digno? Digno, yes. Only the word worthy. Only the Thank you, Sergio. Really, that is the correct word, digno. You know, uh, many religions say that, God, I am not worthy or... Oh, fathers, they say that about their daughters. No, nope, you are not worthy of my daughter. El novio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you understand that expression? You're not worthy for my daughter. Yes. 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 Okay, good. Now, what do you think is trustworthy? Digno de confianza. Do you think do you think that person is trustworthy? Yes. For example, people that work in banks. I think yeah. that's that's a number one requirement in a bank that they really need the employees to be trustworthy. The confiance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trustworthy. Yeah. O, o cuando, bueno, ya no sé mucho, pero cuando alguien busca una empleada doméstica, ¿qué es lo primero que dice? I need an employer and she, she or he has to be trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Or everybody has somebody in the family who is not trustworthy. Yes or no? You have somebody in your family who is not trustworthy. Yes. Y esa puede ser una expresión también. Hey, él o ella no es de fiar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you understand trustworthy, right? Yes. Yeah. You know what? I think I think the the situation in El Salvador, the political situ situation is stupid, but it's normal that that they this and this, you know, hey, he said, ah, nah, nah, they fight. But one thing I do respect is that I think when people vote, it's fair. I think it's fair, que no hay trampa, it's fair. Correct? Not like Honduras, remember that the, the president, he was losing very bad and then the electricity went out and then when the yes. electricity came back, the president was like, yeah. The president won. The president won, yes. <laughs> so here, I don't know, yes, you are right, you are left, you are in the middle, whatever, but I think the when it comes to vote, it's fair. But I think it's impossible to be corrupt too because everybody's watching, counting. They count in public. Yes. Illegal, illogical, irrational, irresponsible, unscrupulous. Do you know what that means? Unscrupulous. Mm -hmm. Unscrupulous. Yes, and untrustworthy, which is the contrary. Yes. Um, yes. JJ, can you tell me something illegal in general in a job? Is JJ here? Oh, no. What happens to JJ? Oh, he left. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let's. I'll, I'll go from left to right. Sergio, tell me something illegal that a job in El Salvador. Tell me something illegal that a job would ask you. For example, if you if you take something uh, that is property of the 
of the enterprise. Uh, and it's not yours, obviously. It's legal. For example, product. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can can your job ask you for a drug test? Is that legal or illegal? Make a drug test for yes to people. Yes, to the Workers. employee. Yeah, can can the oh. company ask the employer to make uh, to have a drug test? Is that legal or illegal? It depends on teacher the kind of 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 business. Yeah. For example, if you are a driver. I think is is part of the uh, the responsible of the of the of the uh, enterprise, but I think that if you don't have to do something like a drive a machine or about on a out a bus, maybe not. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure. I think I think it that it depends on. Okay. Does anybody have a different answer or, or know the correct answer? I really, I don't know either. In my opinion, I don't think it's, I think it's, it's not illegal because I think I, I imagine if, if the company has reason to believe they can ask you for a drug test. What I think it's illegal if they ask you for like a, HIV test, VIH. Um, I think that's illegal. Health condition, for example. Yes. Yeah. Sara Martinez, in, in, in TELUS, did they ask you for physical exams? Okay. Next, Milton. Tell me. Illogical. Illogical. Can you give me? Uh, can you give me an example using illogical, please? Is for example, is 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 illogical for me in this time? Uh, uh, they have people still believe in, uh, the FMLA. Okay, still believe in FMLN. Okay, good. It's illogical or irrational. <laughs> yes. Good, illogical. All right. Miguel Angel Ramirez Vargas. Can you hear now? I did, sir. All right. Lisa. Can you tell me, give me an example using irrational? Uh, I don't know my food in the morning, in the break. Uh, yeah, I am hungry. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, one time is, is, is I, uh, Curious because I have angry. I uh, I don't logical is is my opinion. Is I I am stress is is uh, you can say uh, 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 back expression because I have problems. Uh, it's not logical. No, no, but I'm saying irrational. Like in this moment, you are being irrational. <laughs> okay. Uh, give, no, give me an example using irrational. How do you say it's not my my responsibility? Uh, I I uh, it's a mistake uh, for me in the. The English that voice is, is my responsibility. It's irrational when you, you say, I say, it's, it's not my responsibility. It's okay, good. Yeah, remember, irrational is something not logical. 
or not reasonable. Mm -hmm. Like, like for example, Milton, we were speaking about the, um, with Milton and Sergio in, in, at the beginning of the class, remember? We were speaking about that bus in La Malaga like 10 years ago that, that I was I was telling you that for me that was irrational because that bus didn't take two minutes to fill up with water and jump in the bridge. It took maybe one hour. Maybe one hour or two hours. So the people inside they had time to go out. Remember we were talking about that in the beginning? Yes. So, yes. So I think that was kind of irrational. I mean, it's too bad what happened. It's very sad, but it was a little irrational. Now, it's different maybe from the people, the family today, that suddenly the, yeah. their house came down and it's like, boom, no time. Okay, next we have irresponsible. Sir Ham, give me an example with irresponsible. Um, I think so. Irresponsible, irresponsible is when the person drove draw a car in in effect to alcohol or drugs. I'm sorry, can you repeat please? Irresponsible is uh, irresponsible. Irresponsible. Is uh, the person is, is the sample is the person uh, drive a car when in the effects for the drugs or yes. alcohol? Yes, that person is irresponsible and stupid. Yeah, but but you know what is when a person drives under the effect of alcohol or drugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. The, the expression there is under. under Unscrupulous. Okay. Irena, give me an example for that. Um, somebody unscrupulous, for example, uh, a man or a woman who sells another <coughs> woman. Who sells or what? A, a woman or a human. To sell, to sell to another people. For example, a girl. Mm -hmm. The people who explode, uh, like uh, uh, to the women's women. Okay, you mean like traffic like, of people, like human yes. traffic. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Unscrupulous is somebody who has no morals, no principles. Mm -hmm. A perfect politician. <laughs> yes. Yes. The politicians, they have no morals, no principles. So very, a perfect politician or a perfect supervisor. <laughs> a bo the boss. <laughs> okay. And the last one, um, Marielos, can you tell me for you, who is, who is somebody that you consider untrustworthy? Um, somebody as is um, trustworthy uh, is the people who um, don't have uh, principles or, or values. Okay. <clears throat> but for, okay, so yeah, okay, good. It's true. Or people who like like a uh, um proper um, or or take the, the um things with another person. Yeah. For me, somebody who who has who is not very organized in their life and they like it's to drink a lot, yeah. they're untrustworthy for me. And liar people, teacher. Liars, yes. yes. Liar. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. No, you don't say liar people. You just say liars. Just liars. liars. Okay. Yeah, because imagine, imagine you you have a coworker, you have a friend, and this person you you see that he always likes to party, 
he drinks. When when there's a company party, he gets drunk, he gets crazy. But one day he calls you, David, I have a problem. Uh huh. What what happened? I need money because you know my my wife or my mother is sick and this and that. You know, I think. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't. I, I mean, inside, I, I I automatically think this person is untrustworthy. Mm -hmm. Because from what I see, my perspective is very different. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> right. Mm -hmm. For example, um, politicians, when people vote, they they never vote for the unworthy, un, untrust, mm -hmm. untrustworthy. untrustworthy. And I don't know why, because no politician is trustworthy, but... I think I think people vote for the less, <laughs> for the menos untrustworthy. Yeah. <laughs> Como la expresión, el menos peor. Yeah. El los males el menor. Yes. <laughs> um, also that people, yeah. Okay. All right, class. Then thank you very much. I'll, I'll see you. Remember, there's class tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Class tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, because remember last Friday we did we we didn't have class. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because there was a sudden one day to the next, you know. Oh, I have a question. Is it the festival? Yes. From here on. It's like mm. every every year. Mm, September sixteenth. No. I think it was a uh, no. Uh, Exception. Uh -huh. An exception. Only, only for the announcement, the president. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for that. <laughs> yes. Yes, only because the the next year, uh, sixteen is going to be on Saturday. Oh man. <laughs> and then just fifteen is will be on Friday. Yeah. It was only for this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was only yeah. in, in the maybe in from here to two years more when it goes to be on Monday. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know what, Marielos? I, I, I was I was I don't know, did I hear it on the radio? But many people were upset or they were like surprised why did the government say this from one day to the next you know why 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 and um, they said that it was a strategy because maybe the government did not know the reaction of the opposition and maybe the next day they will go out and protest and burn uh, flags and houses etc yeah. etc <laughs> Yeah, because they say, you know what? <laughs> Let's avoid. Do you think so? No, I, you know, I, I never, I never thought about that until I listened to the radio. Yes. Okay, hey, hey, that's true. Yes, maybe, cool. Maybe, yeah, you know, it makes sense. It's mm -hmm. logical. It's mm -hmm. logical. It was logical, yes. It didn't happen, but you know, it was logical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. It was logical, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. See, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good bye night, bye. everybody. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>